Hey there everyone and welcome. EB01 has just released in the West and so today I'm going to tell you all about the EB01 Meta Spreadsheet, your go-to stop for a ton of info on what to expect in this set. Now normally I would just make like an overview video of the key points, I'd link the sheet in the description, but we have made a ton of improvements with this version including a lot of new features. So today I'm going to help you figure out how everything works so you can navigate this successfully. Now, the first thing you should see when you go to this page is the overview or the how to use page, which we're on right here. Uh, this is going to provide some basic information about how the different tournaments are weighted. You can find that right here. Uh, it's got how to do filtered searches through the leaders based on different criteria. That is over here. Uh, it also tells you what each leader's tier actually means. Again, that's up here. I probably could have worded this in the script better, but that's fine. Uh, but most importantly, this is going to go over how to make a copy of the sheet. And you can find that right here, but I'm going to tell you on the video as well. So you're going to want to do this because you'll need edit permissions in order to view individual deck lists. Since there are a lot of deck lists for each leader, we've had to put them into collapsible groups and you'll need the edit permissions to click this plus button right here, which will then allow you to see all the individual deck lists. If you don't care about seeing the specific list, you can still access the average usage stats, which are over here, uh, without having to make a copy of the document, but everything is just a lot easier if you do that. So in order to make a copy of the spreadsheet, you're going to click file over here. You're going to click make a copy here, and you're going to name it something right on over here and click this green button, make a copy. Then once you're in your own copy of this spreadsheet, You'll have your edit permissions. You can do a lot of cool stuff from there, but that is how you are going to make a copy. Now, if you are unable to do that for any reason at all, I have also made a deck or sorry, I've also made a spreadsheet specifically just for the decks. I made this a couple days ago, so it doesn't look very pretty, but I have set up a search bar right here where all you have to do is type in the leader's name. So I'm going to type in Zoro here. And that's going to pull up every deck list that includes the leader Zoro. Now, this is only one deck list, unfortunately. So if I were to go Sakazuki, boom, we have deck lists for days. And like I said, it is not too pretty, but it is functional. But I would highly recommend just making the copy so you can click that plus button. Now, in order for me to make this sheet usable for everybody, it has to be open publicly. So. Be mindful, that means anyone can make any changes to this. So if you feel like something is a little bit suspicious, you can check that deck in this backup copy. This is a copy I made that only I can edit, so you guys won't be able to actually search by leader, but you can double check any of the deck lists there. Uh, this is a copy made before I've actually posted this video, obviously, so it should be unedited. It should be all good. Now, back to the main spreadsheet. The next page you're going to want to use is the main place you want to be. This has every leader in the game with a link to their leader specific pages in the spreadsheet. Next to each leader is their difficulty. So you can see that some of these are easy, difficult, uh, don't play if it's just a terrible leader or moderate. And this is basically how difficult is it for a new player to learn how to pilot the leader. After that, you're going to find the average 2k counters. And this can be useful for calculating lethal as you can check your opponent's trash and see how many 2k counters they've used so far if you already know what the average run in this leader's deck lists are. If we do not have any tournament winning decks, it does also mention that here. Keep in mind that a deck might have won tournaments without having a tournament winning deck in the list as we gather data from stores and players. If someone posted their tournament win without posting their deck list, the win would be included in the sheet but not their deck. The row next to that is the leader's current tier in EB01. Keep in mind that this data comes from the eastern side of the game, and while the team and I are trying to find ways to automate western data so that we can start adding that in automatically, uh, at the time, just tracking eastern data does take up a lot of our time, so we haven't been able to make this work for eastern yet. However, the plus of using Eastern data is that you can see what the leader's tier in OP07 will be in the next column right over here. So you've got 
EB01 tier and OP07 tier right here. So if you're trying to figure out how the leader will fare in the next set, this is going to give you a pretty good idea. The two columns after that right here are just the leader's colors. If it is a monocolored leader like Zora right here, both of them are going to be the same. If it is a dual color leader, then it follows the order of the color wheel in game, which goes red first, then green, then blue, then purple, black, and yellow. So if you have a red green leader like Law right over here, red green Law, you're going to have red in the first column, green in the second column. Now, these are useful as they allow you to filter the leader by specific colors in your own copy of the sheet, just like you could filter with the tier over here. So let's say that I want to play a yellow leader, but I do not care whatever that other color is. Yellow is the last color in the color wheel, so I would go to the second column. I would filter, so I'd clear everything here, and I would just check yellow. Then when I click OK, boom, this is every leader that has the color yellow. So you can see we go all the way from green, yellow, Arlong to black, yellow, monkey, D, Luffy. So that makes this a lot easier for you to actually filter things down and you can combine these. So let's say I want mono, uh, I want something with yellow and I want it to be easy to learn. Let's say I, I don't want to try very hard. So I check only easy and boom. These are all the easy to learn leaders that have the color yellow. That is going to make this just a little bit easier for you to navigate everything. So let's just go ahead and select all these back so we can put it back to normal. Just so if you want to then uh, bring it back to how it was, just select all. Then the idea next to that, we look at this column here and it is filtering by set. It is exactly the same thing that we just talked about, but just filters it so you see by specific sets. Starter decks all have their starter deck number and promos are listed as promo. And then on the other side over here, we have their current weighted score. So this is the leader's final score at the end of the metagame. And the best use for this is just to sort leaders by final score. So if we go back to that filter idea and I click sort Z to A, this is going to sort them by top to bottom. So you can see here now if I go over here, Sakazuki had the highest score out of the entire metagame, followed by Katakuri, Moria, Red Purple Law, and Yellow and Now. And you can also just undo to put it back to normal as well. Now, if you're not working in your own copy, you are not able to access the filter options, but you do still have access to all the same info otherwise. And finally, at the very bottom of this, you can see a link to the matchup chart. So let's take a look at the matchup chart real quick. So in the past, our matchup chart had just shown advantage, disadvantage, or neutral for each matchup. And this was based on my own experience as well as talking with other players. However, as of OP07, we have been gathering specific matchup data from anything that got posted. And as you can see right around here, we're still adding to the OP07 sheet, but we currently have 9,663 matchup entries so far. So this has been a lot more work, but it is showing some results because if we go over to the matchup chart, now we can show specifically how much of an advantage or disadvantage a leader might have. So let's say I want to see Katakuri and I want to see what Katakuri looks like when I compare him to Moria. And so you can see here we have 46.38%. That means that Moria is winning more often than Katakuri is, but it is by only a small margin, about 3%. Now, because this is early days, I do not have data for every single leader matchup in the game. As you can see here, green, purple, Doflamingo and green, yellow, Yamato. I don't have any matchup data for that specific matchup, which means those have been left blank. However, as time goes on, this is going to continue to improve just as we gather more data. So you can see, especially the meta leaders, you'll have a lot of data for the meta leaders, but for things that aren't used as often, uh, you're going to have more blank spaces. So apologies for the blank spaces there. However, on top of this, we also do have one other feature in there, and that is the filter. And this works just like the filters on the quick nap page. However, given that you have so many leaders, it can get really annoying to have to go through and uncheck all of them. So you should click the clear button, then just type in what you want to search for in the search bar. So I want to search Moria. I'm going to click it to check it, and then I'm going to click OK. And boom, these are all just percentages for Moria versus other types of opponents. So it makes this a lot easier to try to navigate instead of trying to go through each one. And I'm going to click select all just to put that back to normal. 
Anyways, after the quick nav page, you're going to see the page for guides. Now, I've done what I can to find decent guides for each leader. There are a few leaders that I could not find anything for. So if you have some recommendations, please link them down below. But we've got as many as I could find. A lot of YouTube videos here, a couple uh, written guides as well. And again, uh, hopefully we will be able to fill these out more over time. The page after that would be the tier list, and this was designed by the wonderful Flixus, who was the first member to join the team, and this automatically tiers leaders based on how many wins they earned in the meta. You'll see that we have no S tier leaders, as that is a tier for tier 0 decks. Uh, for the uninitiated, this just means you lose if you don't play this deck, and to qualify for that, the leader would have had to win more than half of all tournaments played. Thankfully, not even Sakazuki made it into that tier. A plus tier is also empty, but that would include any leaders with at least one third of all tournaments won. A tier is for very strong leaders that won at least one fourth of all tournaments, and that is where we find Blue Black Sakazuki. I'll probably talk about him a bit more whenever I do an analysis video, but for now, let's just continue on. A minus tier is where you're going to find leaders that have lots of placements but clear weaknesses, like Katakuri and Moria. After that, you've got B plus tier, where you'll find leaders that should garner about a 50% win rate against players that are of an equal skill level. But keep in mind that this is individual game rate, not tournament win rate, which is why this is different from the S tier leaders. B tier is where you're going to find rogue decks that can do well in the right hands, but are not the most meta of decks. After that, you've got the B- tier, which is where we have decks that are a little bit niche and not very recommended for most players. But that doesn't mean that they're bad. C tier decks are decks that have at least one win and can either be decks that are very ignored by the rest of the player base and are bad, or just that they got really lucky. You never know. Then D tier is the bottom of the list, and that is decks that have no wins in the current format. More than likely, this means that they are kind of bad, but it could also just be because they are very, very niche or no one in the meta has figured out how to properly use them. After that, you're going to find the wins tracked page. This is where all the tournament wins were entered for each leader. You can see how the meta has changed over time on the left side uh, as this has been set up by date. You can see here this is February 1st. If I scroll down a bit more, ooh, there we go. You have February 4th and so on. Uh, if we have a deck list for that specific win, it has a check box, check box that has been checked. If it doesn't, it has an X. Then if you go on over to the right side, you can see more detailed statistics. The weighting has stayed the same as before, but for those who are new, standard battle tournaments like these are worth one point. Cup tournaments are worth two points. Flagships and three-on-three -three matches are worth five points and championship tournaments were worth 10 points since EB01 takes place at the tail end of the championship circuit. Next up, you've got the matchup chart, which we had already discussed, but following that, you've got our card database. This has every card in the game as of the EB01 set, and I have included a search function on the right side, which you can use to find specific leaders. So let's say I want to go over here and I want to find um, Zoro. I could type Zoro in, and this is every card that includes Zoro, along with its card code, color, type, counter power, cost, and actual power. Every other page on the sheet is dedicated to individual leaders. So let's just take a look at Sakazuki's to make this nice and easy. So right when you get to that page, you're going to see their statistics right here. Under that, you're going to find what tier they ended up in. You can see Sakazuki is A tier, along with its difficulty and the average amount of 2k counters that were run. Next to the leader stats, you'll also see a link to get back to the leaders and quick navigation page. So if I click that, it takes me right back over there. Then if you continue on to the right side, you'll see every card that was used in a deck list for that leader sorted by how often they appear in the decks. You can also see how many copies of the card were included usually. For example, we see that brand new is included in 100% of Sakazuki decks, and it was included at four copies every time. But if we were to look at Hina, who is also included in 100% of Sakazuki decks, you'll see that about 54% of the time it's included at three copies, 
and 45% of the time it's included at four copies. If we keep going right, you'll see the yellow boxes and the plus button. So remember, you need to be working in your own copy of the spreadsheet to click the plus. But if you do that, you expand all the deck lists and you can see each individual deck list and kind of take a look at that for more inspiration. If you want to collapse them again, all you have to do is click the minus button. That is where the plus button used to be. And that is everything you need to know in order to fully utilize our meta spreadsheet. I am seriously so excited. None of this could be possible without my amazing teammates who you can find in the overview page right on over here. Everyone has elected to not put any links up this time, but they've done all a lot to get this functioning as well as the spreadsheet actually is. We're all doing our best to improve it as time goes on, so feel free to let us know if there's anything you'd like to see added in the comments down below. And I just want to give a big thank you to everyone for your support with this project. It has been very encouraging, especially on the days where I'm spending hours entering in matchup data, and I feel like my brain is going insane. You guys are making this a lot more uh, motivating, I would say. But I'm sure that I speak for everyone on the team when I say that it does make us happy to see others able to benefit from this kind of information. My name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear. I hope you guys enjoy the spreadsheet. It is linked in the comments and the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.